Uh, welcome to People's Health Dispatch. And we are here today to talk about uh, the upcoming election in Turkey uh, with uh, the president of the Turkish Medical Association, uh, Dr. Uh, Shebdem Korur Uh Hi, Shebdem, and thank you for joining us here today. Hello, Yorana. Thank you for just uh, uh, being our voice, actually, uh, for the last few months, particularly. Uh, of course, you know, uh, we've been following the, what's been going on in Turkey uh, with uh, with health workers, especially because we know that, uh, you know, the repression that has been going on over the past months and years has been very intense. Uh, and of course, what we have seen in recent months has been particularly worrying. So um, today I wanted to talk a bit more about uh, your expectations of the upcoming election that will take all, uh, take place over the weekend. And I just wanted to you know, start with a very basic question. So what's the what's the spirit in which health workers in Turkey are approaching this this election? What are you hoping for? What are you expecting to see? Uh, uh, their own expectant, actually, like all the citizens in the country, because we need a, a, a change in the situation, as you know, because we have discussed about this situation, the uh, oppression in the country, the oppressive nature, just uh, leading people to be hopeless. Now there is hope, uh, hope of change. Uh, and of course, with the health professionals, particularly, we know that the, they have been uh, in a serious situation regarding the working conditions and their rights as uh, for all the workers' rights as well. Because uh, with the uh, long period of AKP uh, governance, uh, the rights of the workers have deteriorated severely. And also uh, for the health professionals also, the working conditions have been too harsh for long hours. They had to work for long hours and their performance was only based on the quantity uh, of their activities instead of the qualification of their uh, health services, uh, providing the health services. So uh, this caused a hopelessness uh, in this sense. And many of our junior colleagues decided to leave the country and move to other countries to work in better conditions, although it is not uh, excellent uh, all around the world because of the neoliberal capitalist movement, particularly the rights of the workers have deteriorated all over the world. The globalization caused uh, several uh, backward uh, of the rights, but anyhow, it is not worse as in Turkey, uh, and also particularly uh, the president's uh, words uh, regarding the physicians and also the educated people uh, diminishing their personality, diminishing the profession, uh, caused a serious uh, effect on the health professionals. So uh, everybody is expecting that there will be a change and afterwards everything will be better. But of course, we have to keep in mind that we have to just monitor uh, whoever governs the country because uh, we know that uh, particularly the the neoliberal capitalist movement and the funding companies would insist on this kind of health policy anyhow. Uh, so then we have to uh, monitor 
uh, the new ruling party or parties or the coalition, uh, if it is uh, in this way, uh, and insist on uh, gaining back our rights and also uh, the value of the profession, uh, the values of the profession actually, because with the diminishing value of the health professionals, then we also lost our values uh, in this kind of working conditions. And of course, you mentioned, and uh, you know, we reported on that uh, a bit uh, a while ago, that you know we have seen uh, like uh, real attacks on professional organizations in Turkey over the the over the last years, especially when it comes to media uh, to uh, to the media associations, but also to the to to health professionals. So I was wondering if maybe you could give me an update on what's been going on uh, in the past weeks. What's uh, the current situation and how is the TMA uh, faring right now? Uh, of course, it's very interesting. When we last discussed about the situation, we were just at the doorstep of being uh, shut down. Uh, so there were uh, several court cases. Uh, both against me and also the Turkish Medical Association and the council members uh, to be dismissed. So uh, it was very interesting, of course, with the court because uh, particularly the judge uh, decided to wait uh, for the decision of the Court of Appeal. Uh, and the Court of Appeal couldn't decide immediately, so they still uh, have the pending decision uh, for the time being. And uh, the judge decided uh, to <clears throat> uh, postpone the <clears throat> hearing, sorry, uh, the hearing to 22nd of June after the elections. So many of these kind of court cases, particularly <clears throat> uh, mainly uh, such kind of op uh, in oppressive uh, nature uh, are not uh, ending at all. So they are pending and uh, most of the court hearings are postponed after the elections because the judges, the prosecutors, and the judiciary actually doesn't feel safe for the time being. Uh, and uh, this means that the elections also uh, mean a lot for the uh, professional organizations. It's not only Turkish Medical Association. For all the uh, professional organizations, actually, they plan to uh, just have amendments uh, in the constitution, uh, as well as the professional organizations own law uh, to just uh, cause a kind of uh, powerlessness in this sense. Uh, so uh, everybody now uh, is expecting to have a change so that we will have a better situation and empower the organizations with uh, some amendments now uh, on behalf of the professional organizations because with the 1980s actually, they wanted to uh, just uh, have the power uh, taken from the professional organizations. For example, the obligatory membership have been uh, just uh, uh, omitted from the law uh, and also the constitution. Uh, and also in the constitution, there is a very uh, particular article telling that uh, some activities out of purpose uh, might lead to uh, dismissal of the uh, governance of these organizations. But uh, actually, uh, when we uh, raise our voice regarding the public health issues, 
then they consider this as uh, activity out of purpose. Uh, so we know what they mean by the purpose. It is only uh, on the same line with the governance, actually. Uh, so anytime we will have this kind of activities uh, to be taken to the court, uh, but if there is a change, then maybe we can have amendments in the constitution uh, and uh, be more powerful uh, as an organization. And then there's uh, finally, there's, you know, another aspect that uh, we've been uh, following and talking about with, uh, with the TMA uh, over the last months. Uh, and that regards the actual uh, the situation in the health system and you know we talked about how uh, how this devastating earthquake which hit which hit turkey and syria recently uh, has caused a tremendous number of deaths of uh, how how much worse it had it had made a health system which was already struggling because of all of these pressures that you uh, that you described before so now you know uh, turning a bit a bit uh, hopefully to the future um, you know, what kind of good change do you think could come out uh, of a new government when it comes to health policy? Uh, you know, Turkish Medical Association has always raised awareness about the primary health care system and the protective nature, the preventive nature of the primary health care uh, that should be. But unfortunately, uh, they just... Uh, totally shifted the primary health care to outpatient clinics. Uh, whenever people are ill, they have to just have uh, been admitted to primary health care system. Uh, but uh, according to the Turkish Medical Association health policy, uh, we know that it is important to have a population-based regional-based primary health care system with the preventive uh, measures and reaching to people instead of waiting for the people uh, to come whenever they are ill. So uh, taking the precautions before the illnesses is the most important issue. So maybe we can change the primary health care system, uh, which uh, unfortunately uh, was destroyed together with the earthquake. The, all of the uh, family physicians' offices have been uh, under uh, all these uh, destroyed buildings. Uh, so there were only very few family physicians who could function and their houses were also destroyed. So. Uh, with this damage, they they couldn't uh, just uh, actively work. Uh, and afterwards, Turkish Medical Association organized the voluntary work uh, to support our colleagues uh, in the earthquake region. Uh, so maybe we can change the primary health care system, the health policy, particularly uh, prioritizing the preventive uh, healthcare uh, instead of just treatment-based healthcare. Uh, so it is very important and also uh, particularly for uh, the treatment-based healthcare system, uh, qualification, quality might just come in front of the quantity uh, and instead of having patients every few minutes, uh, we can spare time, uh, enough time for our patients, uh, which would uh, be helpful uh, for the patients uh, repetitively visiting the hospitals because they couldn't find any solution for their health problems. Uh, so uh, it is for many years that we have the same health policy uh, regarding the public health, prioritizing the public health. And we hope that we can change this health policy uh, in this way. 
And I think, you know, it's uh, it's an idea that uh, the People's Health Movement would uh, very much back this idea of primary healthcare, which is uh, based in the community and turn to yes, the people. Sure. So uh, I, I think that we all hope to see a good outcome uh, this weekend, and we're all we're all really hopeful that this will mean uh, a better time for for health and for the people in Turkey. Thank you so much for joining us today, Shabnam. Thank you, and uh, always uh, you support us, and your solidarity is invaluable. Thank <laughs> you.